career woman or even a man i would say cannot be a successful person successful homemaker successful life coach without finding that particular equilibrium it means you have to find out your midpoint your spot where you will assign a specific amount of time for your work a specific amount of time for the happiness of your personal life don't get disheartened if something doesn't work out you should always have a plan b in your life throughout my life i have grappled i have reached out i have tried to make sense of the chaos in my life there was order in my disorder and every day i would reassess redirect my day and figure out today i need to be working more today i need to take time out for my children as an infant 0 to 2 is quite simple you know you have help you have relatives so that's the time when you should look out for yourself do things so that you can reverse all the changes that have happened in your mind and body through your pregnancy and your childbirth so between 2 and 5 or sometimes 2 and 8 the child that comes to you comes to you not wired anyways completely a blank slate which as a mother you can hone so the outcome of a child is the sum of the environment to give him give her or give him the thing that you make sure is you should have a good work environment if you are a happy work environment you are a happy mother coming home you have a happy family if you are in a toxic environment with toxic employers bad working hours bad, bad colleagues i would suggest go for plan b bounce take off do something that you find your equilibrium do not allow yourself to be stimulated all day don't carry your work home when i was traveling i saw people on the uh, on the plane laptop working away i asked her when do you take a break she said ma'am in my field there is no break my boss can call me middle of the night too i said why do you allow that doesn't it mess up with your psyche when do you rest really she said no it's such a competitive field we can't do that so here i would say career women mothers mothers to be draw a line you have to have this barrier created this is my work time this is the time i do not work instead let your mind relax because once you are energized you're free of constant work pressure you're a happier woman sometimes i would take pre to work what happened was she started respecting my work she did not take offense to it ki hame bhi duty jana padta hai aapke sath mein nahi she started respecting the work i did she started appreciating a working mother from 2 to 8 the child is everything that you are they are emulating you if you are an irritable crabby old mom at home that's what your child will be if you're talking without respect not respectfully to your colleagues to your husband that's what they learn from 8 to 12 they have all outside influences also affecting them their teachers their peers the colleagues their friends and then the worst thing online they have discovered internet by that time be the mother that your child can come back to and ask mom is it true does it happen what you make of your child as a future adult human being is what you are doing today they are the reflection of you don't let the frustration of your workplace come back home home is should be a refuge every sunday was a free day for me my husband took care of the breakfast have dinner out so sunday was my relaxation and recreation day so when i they made me feel special because rest of the week i made them feel special participating in your child's life they hate it to start with but they'll want it honestly speaking you are just one set of parents there are millions of friends you can be a friendly parent but don't stop being a parent an example be a good smart mom good smart parent and a good career woman